Mondays and Bonani, Epsu, Ekamendiga Chesu. Welcome everybody from all corners of the world. Uh, I welcome those who are watching us on Facebook and those who are watching us on YouTube. What a time to be alive, what a pleasure it is to be coming to you live at the comfort of your home in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm welcoming people from all over the world, from, from Swaziland, from South Africa, uh, from Zimbabwe, from Australia, from all nations of the world, from South Korea. I welcome people from Taiwan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. People who have been sending us messages and saying we are watching and we are so excited to hear the word of God preached in this fashion in Jesus' mighty name. It is joy for me that we will go straight to the word of God in the book of Mark chapter 5 verse 25 and begin to read the scripture there and see what the Lord wants to say to us this evening. Mark chapter 5 verse 25 now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years and had suffered many things many things from many physicians many things from many physicians she had spent all that she had and was not better but rather grew worse when she heard about jesus she came behind him in a crowd and touched his garment for she said if only i may by touch his clothes I shall be made well. And immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched me? Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. It is power and life to us. I want to submit city. Uh, blessings are for the highest bidder. Blessings are for the highest bidder. Blessings are for the highest bidder. Quite controversial, uh, tightly, but I love it. Blessings are for the highest bidder. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want us to note before we get excited, Ugoti, this woman was sick for 12 years. She was doing one and the same thing, expecting different results. Impossible, isn't it? She was going to the doctors, going to the physicians, uh, going to traditional healers every now and again. The Bible records this was a well-to-do woman. She had money, she was loaded, she was rich. But she, was, she kept on doing one and the same thing until she ran out of money. The Bible said she suffered many things from many physicians. Everyone, but that figure we will take money from her. But I'm seized, take money from her. But I'm seized. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, until this 12th year, then she sat down with herself and a meeting with herself and said, if I may by see this Jesus, I will touch the hem of his garment, and I know I will be made of Why? The Bible said she kept hearing and hearing and hearing about this Jesus, hearing things that the Lord has been doing, because the Bible says, faith comes by hearing. And the Bible says, she said to herself, with all these things I've heard about this Jesus, I know if I can see him, he can help me. I will touch the hem of his garment. I don't even need a one-on-one -on -one meeting with him. I don't even want him to notice that I was around. But if I see him, I will make sure I touch him. And, and, and my bleeding, I know, will stop immediately. Now, this is very important. The Bible says why she was going there. She saw Jesus because she had she was Jesus was passing through the city and she decided let me go there. And the Bible says, Uma a finger corner, the crowd stopped her. And they say you are not supposed to be here. Sick as you hang or, or as you are. And the Bible says she pretended as if she was going back home. And, and then she came from behind and touched the hem of his garment and was made whole immediately and Jesus asked who just touched me and about Peter but we are so we are too many here what kind of a question is this Jesus and Jesus said I'm not talking about people who have been just touching me but there's one who touched me intentionally who touched me with a decision and they asked him why do you say that he said I had a virtue of power leaving me in other words 
uh, in other in uh, under normal circumstances i am the one and jesus who decides how much power to give to the to a person but this time around somebody who knew where my power is just went in there radically forcefully and took the power if i say now hey, blessings are for the highest leader i am saying to you uh, blessings are for those who will be forceful they are for those no matter no matter how big the price is to pay those who will be forceful and say, I am staying put here. I will find a way of getting my blessing. If it calls for me to come from behind, I will pretend as if I'm going home. But I will come from behind. I will take insults if I have to. I will, I will take every kind of words if I will have to. Some will insult me. But I will stay put because I know my blessing is in this place blessings are for the highest bidder are for those who will refuse to go back are for those who will refuse to give up are for those who will enter an atmosphere sent against set against them but enter it with boldness but because you understand these things are for the highest leaders are for the people who will be forceful and radical in the mighty name of jesus i love this scientist called sir isaac newton the second law of sir isaac newton says everything remains at a state of rest until force is applied everything i'm closing now listen very careful everything this is a sir, uh, sir isaac newton everything remains at a state of rest until force is applied nothing will move crying doesn't move things complaining and murmuring doesn't move your life around doesn't move things blaming other people doesn't move things but force will move things in the mighty name once you begin to stand up now and apply force then something is going to change in your life it doesn't matter how many people you hate uh, how many years you are telling us you've been suffering from this thing if you are not standing up when no one's going to kill me with him the same for 20 years who can every day in jamas and now you tell us about the same story nothing will change in your life that thing will never change your life but what is going to change your life is to stand up and say i am tired of this thing now i am angry at my situation i decide to rise against all odds if there's a price to pay i am ready to pay it if it's insult i am ready to be insulted if i am ready to listen to all those things to take that if it is whatever it is the price that i must pay for this thing i am now to prepare to pay it so that I attain my blessing. Blessings are for the highest speed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Until they understood. That is when I apply force. This for the past. Until one said. Let us start going. Let us start applying force. And the Bible says. As they began applying force. Then God stood up. And joined them. And helped them. Them. because the Lord said I leave the keys of the kingdom with you whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven what you set free here shall be set free in heaven it depends entirely on you if you still want to complain for a year which means you start to your situation for another year until you decide today I stop complaining to stay in I put on my garment I put on my sandals i am rising i'm facing this day in the mighty name of jesus everything remains at a state of rest until force is applied in the mighty name of jesus for zacchaeus it by baby when he wanted desperately because it depends how desperate you want it when he desperately wanted to see jesus he applied force he started climbing a tree applying force paying a price Hallelujah. Because these things are for the highest bidders. In the mighty name of Jesus, he applied to force and the Bible says Jesus looked at him and said, Zacchaeus, by climbing the tree just to see me is enough honor for me. And as a result, please come down tonight. I'm going to sleep in your house. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, blessings 
are for the highest bidders. There's a price to pay. Greatness, Master One, has a price and it doesn't go and say. It has a price. There's a price you must pay. Sometimes you will have to look like a fool for a while. Sometimes they, help, they will have to watch me here live and some just laugh at me and look at me like a fool. It's a price that I'm paying and I've, been, I've paid so many prices and I don't care come what may. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you have to develop that step on faith, that kind of step on faith, that kind of boldness and say, I don't care who laughs at me, who says what about me, but I am persuaded. I know what I'm doing and I know how the result will be at the end of the day. Utu Tobe, I know my Redeemer lives and when he's done doing what he's doing to me, I would come forth as God. I know how my story will end. I know how my church will end. I know how my ministry will end. I know how my family will end. It may not look so at the present moment, but I'm applying force every day in the mighty name of Jesus. And because of this force that I'm applying, little by pen is banyatel amato dau for akulai. Applying force, little by pen im pinga pagat yes orangati. Guza inkulunga ni amato daga dau for ayakuna. Goto when they began to apply force, little by pen is. I've changed so many things in my life by applying force, by paying a price. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you need to pay the price. Every good thing has a price attached to it. Every great man has paid this price. Every winner has paid it. Every great, every giant, they know what I'm talking about. You need to tell yourself what I'm ready now to pay whatever price. In order for me to receive my blessing, these things are for high speeders. They are reserved for high speeders. If you are not willing to be and be the highest, if you are not do, willing to do what other people are failing to do, if you are not willing to spend some hours in the sacred place with God, praying, fasting, reading books, if you are not willing to do that, then I'm sorry there is nothing for you. If you are not willing to receive, insults from people and live as if I went to Galaga Luto then I am sorry if you are not willing to be patient but I was telling somebody yesterday but I don't know what to ban I have I'm able to stay with people who can say the worst things about me but I'm feeling Baba and Sandra and shake their hand as if nothing happened because I taught myself it's a price that I would have to pay at some point in this chain and smile with them and genuinely so and pray for some of them but knowing some they come for advice at some point some they come for prayer at some point but knowing very well the worst things that they say in the mighty name of Jesus I'm trying to encourage you hallelujah develop patience patience is a fruit of the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus, when you have to cry, find a place to cry alone. Don't cry in front of people. Make sure, Barcelona, little paper, whenever Jesus was under pressure, he would speak in parables. Parables, a parable is a heavenly language with an with an H meaning. In the mighty name of Jesus, he would, whenever he was under pressure, whenever he wanted to cry, he would use parables so that people will not understand his crying. Because once people understand your crying, they will always find something to make you cry. Hallelujah. Once they understand your crying, once they understand what makes you cry, they will always find something to make you cry. So Jesus will cry in parable and they will not understand. And by the time he's done crying, they will begin asking, what was he saying? And he's already done crying. And if they figure out he was crying, they will ask, please cry again. Do it again. And he will say, I don't know how I cry. I don't know what I say. Because he always spoke in parables. I'm trying to say to you, never cry in front of people. Don't go around advertising your problems. Don't go around advertising your Hallelujah. You are advertising your stupidity and your mediocrity. Even a fool, if you don't know, keep quiet until you know. In the mighty name of Jesus, stop criticizing dimensions you don't understand. 
Utona abantu bakhuluma ngasoma business aba athi vidi corruption this bakhuluma ngabafundisa lolu lapha uthwele lona this uthwele you don't understand the science lolu gadi una ma security why bam gadi is a man of god you don't understand the science you don't understand the chemistry of the dimension wait until you are there then you will criticize where never criticize offices and things onga afike kuzo you are advertising your mediocrity to this world you are advertising your stupidness in the mighty name of jesus may the lord help you father we thank you today we are beginning to be the highest bidders we want to bid and come in just want to apply force we want to be forceful we not stop in jesus mighty name help us my father and my father as we apply this force in jesus name i pray amen hallelujah bazalwan thank you i hope you are blessed in jesus mighty name hey come in just call us on this number on the screen what's happened call us for prayer and counseling in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and don't forget to also to send your tithe and your giving it is very important doesn't matter what facebook is saying i'm speaking this with authority as a man of god uh, as your father in christ your brother in Christ in the mighty name of Jesus for some of you i am saying to you it is very important because church is continuing abantu bacaba ukuthi badla isonto lovali wakavala ukuvala ama buildings but we are in church right now in Jesus mighty name god bless you hallelujah